All right, guys, so happy Wednesday, and I'm going to be doing a lesson with you on the coordinate plane. So we will be using this coordinate plane um, to help us with our drone project and with Amazon. Um, before we can get really started deep with the drones and everything, uh, we need to make sure that we understand the coordinate plane. So this lesson is going to be about that. So um, the coordinate plane, when I say coordinate plane, I do not mean an airplane or a jet. A coordinate plane is um, a perfectly flat surface extending in all directions. So you can kind of think about a ceiling, like that flat ceiling that goes on forever and ever and ever. It's two dimensional, so it's just flat. Um, and again, it goes on forever and ever and ever. And that's what we're talking about when we're saying a plane is that flat surface extending in all directions. So back to this coordinate plane. Um, this is what our coordinate plane looks like right here. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about this coordinate plane and kind of break down the parts and the pieces. So you might can see that we have an X axis, just like what we've been working with. Um, except this X axis has not only positive numbers, but also it goes below zero and goes into negative numbers. And then we also have our Y axis. Again, it goes straight up and down. So we still have those same um, movements of like X axis and Y axis. Um, that stays the same. And then we have this point right here that we have talked about a little bit, which is called the origin. And the origin is where the Y axis is at zero and the X axis is at zero. And that's where they meet. So it's at zero, zero is called the origin. And we also, now that I have those X and Y axis separated, you can kind of see the coordinate plane is broken up into four parts. And so those four parts are called quadrants. And the prefix quad means four. So like if you hear someone say they're gonna have quadruplets, they're gonna have four children. So, um, we are going to be working mostly or pretty much all in quadrant one, which is all of the positive numbers. So if you got freaked out when you heard me say negative numbers, take a deep breath. It's fine. We're not doing negative numbers. We are just going to be working in quadrant one with positive numbers. And I wanted you to be able to see where that really is in the quadrant um, plane or sorry, coordinate plane. And we also have these other quadrants. This is two, three, and four. And so I want us to really focus on quadrant one. So I am going to kind of talk you through some important parts. So as you can see, my pin's working. The x-axis is going right along here. That's my x. And this is my y going up right there. Sorry, that kind of looks like an x, but it's a y. And so we have numbers going across both the X and the Y axis. When you were doing line graphs, you had like the time across the X axis, so the months or the years or the days. But with our coordinate plane, we're not going to have any sort of labels as far as months or a time frame. It's just going to be numbers across the X and the Y. And so much like what you were doing with your line graph, we plot points on our coordinate grid or coordinate plane to show someone exactly where something is. So like I can create a point right here and the way that we would label it is by its X coordinate and its Y coordinate. And all that means is I go across the X axis, I'm at two. So the X coordinate is two. So I'm gonna write two and that's my X. And then comma, I go across here and it's at three on the y-axis, so that is my y-coordinate. So again, we always go across the x-axis and then up the y-axis. We have to crawl before we walk. Um, I'm going to change my color and I'm going to do another point with you. So I'm going to point, plot this point up here. Um, and to label that point, I would go again across my x-axis first. So I'd find where it goes on the x-axis and it's at four. 
So my x coordinate is four. And then I go up, 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 up. And it's on seven on my y axis. So the y coordinate would be seven. And you're probably wondering, like, oh, why did Miss Chalfont write that point like that? Why did she write them within parentheses and a comma in between them? So these are called ordered pairs or coordinate pairs. And you can kind of guess maybe why they're called pairs. Pairs, too. Like, you have a pair of shoes. You have two shoes. So you have your x-coordinate and your y-coordinate, which is our two numbers. Um, and it tells us the order of things or like the coordinates. So they're called ordered pairs or coordinate pairs. So I'll write coordinate up here too, just so you have that. So again, points are helped to use, uh, or we use points to help us find exact locations on coordinate grids. And we label them using the x coordinate and the y coordinate, which is just the number on the x axis that it meets on and the number that a y axis that it meets on. And it's called the ordered pair. And we are all working in quadrant one. And again, I just wanted to show you this is our origin right here where it meets at zero, zero. Notice they intersect right there at zero, zero. That's our origin. And um, we will be using the coordinate grid to help us map out Havelock so that we can give drone deliveries to specific houses and we can tell each other, oh, like the, or tell the drone, like, hey, you need to go deliver a package to the house on the coordinate four seven. So the drone would know exactly where to go. So that's how we're gonna use our coordinate plane is to give those exact locations. Um, so I hope this was helpful and I also will attach some videos for you to watch that are a lot more fun to listen to than me. <laughs>
slow cast. Listen, but on the real, my life is crazy, like in movies. I've been searching for years for gold, jewels, and rubies. I finally have a treasure map, and it's old. I'm in the dungeon of axes, and it's cold, and it's booby traps. So I need to know where to find the traps and where to find the gold. Lucky for me, my map, it glows. It's a coordinate plane. Let's see what it holds. The x-axis is a number line. It goes across the map. It's really wide. And the y-axis isn't wide. It's tall. It goes up and down my map. That's all. Where they cross, that's the origin. Where I entered the dungeon and where I begin. That's where x equals zero and y does too. If I didn't understand that, I wouldn't have a clue. Leverage in the boss. My x-axis goes across. My y-axis it climbs. So when I grab, I grab x, y. And get paid on a plane, now let's ride. Feel leverage in the boss. My x-axis goes across. My y-axis it climbs. So when I grab, Grab my grab X Y and get paid for the plane. Now let's ride. Yeah. So my grab is empty. But wait, below there's a list of things that I need to locate. There is a pit at two five. What does that mean? If I don't know, I might die. Then I see it says X Y. So the X coordinate is first and then Y. So two five. I count two to the right. Then I count five up from the Y. All right. Right there is a point that would be a pit. I put P on the map. Yeah, that's it. There's a swinging blade at three one. So I count three on the X axis, son. I count one up on the Y. I put a B for a blade on the spot. No Y. Two five and three one are both ordered pairs. A pair of numbers that will show me where the treasure itself is at three six. I find that point on the map real quick, and then I count out my steps till I see so much gold, and it takes away my breath. Real images in the boss. My X axis goes across. My Y axis it climbs. So when I grab my grab X Y and get paid on a plane, now let's ride. Real images in the boss. My X axis goes across. My Y axis it climbs. So when I grab my grab X Y and 